When I was in sixth grade, I was in a national preteen beauty pageant in Florida. She was crowned um, Miss Teen South Dakota because she's so cute. The first night that we were there, all the pageant moms went out to dinner. Later that night, I heard a knock on the door and the pageant moms were carrying my mom into the bedroom and just laid her on the bed. Today, we're diving into a hot topic that's shaking up the legal landscape. A new anti-money laundering law and its real world implications. Spotlighting a recent high profile case. Now, this new law goes into effect in 120 days. And here is why you're going to need our CTA automated consultation so you don't get caught up in this same type of ordeal. We'll break down the details, what this means for you, and why it matters. So buckle up and let's ride. So let's get straight to it. No chaser. Recently, South Dakota made headlines with a case that underscores the importance of financial transparency and accountability. Attorney General Marty Jackley announced that Marana Jane Geetson, a 49-year-old from Sioux Falls, pled guilty to embezzlement. That's right, embezzlement, a class five felony. Geetson's case is a glaring example of how people can abuse positions of trust, particularly when it involves vulnerable populations. While working at a facility that provides care for disabled individuals, Geetson managed to divert funds meant to support these clients. According to Judge Robin Jacobson Howman, Geetson's sentence includes 45 days in county jail. 2.5 years of probation and she's required to pay $5,472.60 in restitution. And guess what? She's already paid the restitution in full as of March 3rd, 2017. Jackley made it clear that Geetson's actions were a serious breach of trust. As stated, Miss Gateson abused her position of trust in providing care for our disabled. He stated, This is a crucial point. Our citizens with disabilities deserve the best possible care, and those who try to profit at their expense will face the consequences. Now you might be wondering, how does this connect to the new anti-money laundering law? Well, the case highlights a fundamental issue, transparency and accountability in financial dealings. The new anti-money laundering regulations are designed to crack down on financial misconduct just like this. By enhancing oversight and increasing penalties for those who attempt to exploit the financial systems. This law is made to be a game changer in the fight against financial crime. It introduces stricter requirements for financial institutions, mandates more rigorous reporting, and aims to close loopholes that have been exploited by criminals in the past. Essentially, it's about making sure that money flows are scrutinized, ensuring that every dollar is accounted for and that those who try to hide their illicit activities face severe penalties. Let's break down a few key aspects of this new law. Number one, enhance reporting requirements. Financial institutions now provide more detailed reports on transactions, especially those that seem suspicious or unusual increased penalties. 
the law introduces heftier fines and longer prison sentences for those individuals and organizations found guilty of money laundering. Stronger oversight. Regulators are given more authority to investigate and monitor financial transactions and activities. And lastly, international cooperation. The law emphasizes working with global counterparts to track and tackle cross-border financial crimes. So what does all this mean for you? Whether you're a business owner, a financial professional, or just your average citizen, these changes are very important. They are designed to create a more transparent financial environment and to hold those who attempt to manipulate the system accountable. Remember, financial integrity is crucial in maintaining trust in our economic systems, and it has not been like that in the past. Cases like Geetson's remind us why it's so important to have robust laws and enforcement mechanisms in place. Are you aware how easy it is to be indicted for embezzlement? Embezzlement is defined as theft or misappropriation of funds placed in one's trust or belonging to one's employer. Now, while one can get a really good attorney to help them get out of such a crime, sometimes it's not that easy and it can be simple to be indicted on embezzlement just by pulling from your bank account. That's right, if you are not diverting your funds in the appropriate way, you could be embezzling from your own company. This is why it's important that you look at the link in the description to the CTA automated consultation where these definitions and how to go about structuring your company properly can help you avoid such a crime as embezzlement. Now remember, this new law, along with the CTA, goes into effect in 120 days, and you don't want to be left out in the wilderness when it comes to compliance with these new strict and regulatory changes. So find the link below to the CTA automated consultation, one that will walk you completely through what's going on in the regulatory world and help you to secure your spot to make sure you do not fall victim to ordeals just like this. For Marana Jane Geetson, the immediate future involves serving her sentence as ordered by the court. She'll spend 45 days in a county jail and then move into a period of 2.5 years of probation. During this time, she'll be closely monitored to ensure compliance with all conditions set by the court. This probation period is critical. Any violations could lead to harsher penalties, including potentially serving the suspended four year prison sentence. After her probation, Geetson will have to rebuild her life with the stigma of a felony conviction, which could impact her employment opportunities, especially in roles involving financial management or caregiving. She will also need to comply with any additional requirements imposed by the court, such as attending counseling or community service. In the long term, Geetson's actions and the legal consequences she's faced will likely serve as a permanent reminder of the importance of maintaining ethical standards, especially in positions of trust. Her case will also remain a cautionary tale within her community and industry, highlighting the serious repercussions of financial misconduct. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video informative, 
make sure to hit that like button subscribe and ring that bell for more updates on legal changes and financial news drop your thoughts and questions in the comments below i'd love to hear from you and what you think about this new anti-money laundering law and the Geetson case. Until next time, stay informed, stay vigilant, and always in control of your financial future.